Rob Guy here, uh, this guy 604 on DraftKings with my Millionaire Maker lineup review. Uh, we have done a Peach cast this week, myself and Peach Syme. Uh, we had a few issues with the video and audio, but we are working on that and hope to get that resolved and hopefully we can get the Peach cast out in some form. So I'm going to touch on a few plays we talked about in this lineup as well. Uh, at quarterback, I like Marcus Mariota this week uh, at home going up against Indianapolis. Mari Mariota's schedule really loosens up um, starting last week. I'm looking for some passing yardage from him. Maybe he can uh, throw for 300 this week. Last week he threw for 264, but that was against Cleveland, who does, did not put up much offense themselves. I think Indy can put up some more offense, keep the game closer, force Mariota to throw the ball a little bit more. Maybe he can hit that 300-yard bonus. Last week he had seven rushes for 64 yards. Hopefully we can keep some of that rushing stuff up and maybe he can rush one into the end zone as well to get us two extra points on that touchdown instead of throwing it in. At running back, uh, Jaquiz Rogers, Doug Martin's out again. Uh, last week was their bye. The week before that, Jaquiz Rogers started um, for Dougie Fresh. He rushed the ball 30 times at over 100 yards. He had five catches as well, so he had 35 total touches. As I talked about uh, on the PeachCast, I am a target whore. I like guys who are touching the ball a lot. I want touches on the football for my DFS fantasy players. My second running back position, I've got Spencer Ware in there at 5,800. I am actually hoping Jamal Charles is active this week. That might keep Spencer Ware's ownership down a little bit. Playing at home against New Orleans. Uh, last week with um, Jamal Charles in the lineup, he still had 24 touches, 24 rushes for 131 yards. Um, I like him hitting pay dirt this week. I think he's going to get a lot of touches. Like I said, I hope uh, Jamal's active so, so some of his ownership is down. In my first wide receiver position, I've got Mike Evans um, with VJAX out last year. He averaged over 12 targets a game uh, against the San Francisco defense. I think it's a defense to pick on. That's why I'm stacking Evans and Quiz together. Um, I'm looking for Mike Evans to, to just have a huge game here. I think he's a must play in your DFS lineups. I'm starting with, uh, with plugging him in in most of my lineups along with Quiz. AJ Green in my second wide receiver position. Um, I also like Andy Dalton a lot this week, who's also 6K. Uh, and I, I've got this exact same lineup running in a few spots just with uh, Dalton in instead of Mariota at QB. Uh, playing against Cleveland, who does not have Joe Hayden playing in this game. Um, they're at home. I like uh, the Cincinnati Bengals a lot. I also like uh, Gio Bernard and even some Jeremy Hill, whose ownership is going to be really low um, after last week's injury riddle dud that he put up. My third wide receiver position, I'm going Julio, so I am paying up big time at wide receiver. Um, other than Antonio Brown, I've got a lot of the, the expensive wide receivers this week. He's 9,200. He's at home. He's playing against San Diego. Jason Verrett is out for San Diego. Um, the rest of their secondary is, is, is not good at all. Um, but Atlanta's defense is also not good, so I expect um, San Diego uh, to be able to, to keep the game close, forcing Atlanta to keep throwing in a dome, on turf, like those odds. I'm punting tight end and going to the bare minimum of 2,500 and putting in dad runner Jack Doyle. I got a white guy in my lineup. Hopefully that doesn't bite me. He's 2,500. Dwayne Allen is out. I like Jack Doyle a lot this week, um, especially at min salary. In my flex spot, I currently have Mike Gillisley. Now, LaShawn McCoy uh, has traveled with the team to Miami, so this is something we need to keep an eye on Sunday morning. If McCoy is active, I've kept um, $300 worth of salary uh, not used in this lineup. Um, so if, if McCoy is active, I might look at switching Gillisley in my flex position to Marquise Lee. Uh, Marquise Lee has six, six, seven, and seven targets in his last four games for a guy at 3,200. Alan Hearns missed Thursday's practice. He practiced Friday, so I'm expecting him to play. Um, but I like Jacksonville this week. I think they're going to put up points. So I like Marquise Lee as a guy, um, as a bit of a low-owned guy and, and a cheap guy. So I'm going to swap to him if uh, if McCoy is active. I will not swap all of my lineups out of Gillisley. I'm still going to play some of them. Um, but I will swap this lineup to Marquise Lee. And I've got Titans defense in here. Uh, again, cheap, 2,500. Andrew Luck gets sacked a lot. So I like the Titans D at home. One way to uh, to switch this lineup out, I would uh, I was thinking of uh, dropping Julio, 
putting in Gronk and then inst- at, uh, at my tight end. And then instead of uh, Julio at my third wide receiver, I'm putting in Marquise Lee that way as well. So it's a way to, to switch this lineup just a tiny bit. Best of luck to you this week. Uh, like I said, I'll try and get that peach cast out. And, uh, and let's, uh, let's make some money in week seven.